packed with people, a lot of holiday shoppers are refueling in the food court. Some shoppers are almost done, others just starting. Retail business at Virginia Center Common seems to be booming, 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 booming. Hi everyone, Anthony here with Aces Adventures and here we are continuing on our southern excursion of malls. We are in Virginia now at the Virginia Center Commons Mall. Uh, as usual I'm going to give you some history about this property and then uh, let you know what I thought about this mall and just kind of just chat a little bit about uh, the feelings I had while going through this property. Um, so Virginia Center Commons is Richmond's, uh, the Richmond area, Richmond, Virginia area's uh, third newest mall, and it was the last one to be built indoors. Uh, it opened up in 1991. Uh, it's located in North Henrico County along U.S. Route 1 near the intersections of 295. Um, VCC is the closest mall to many parts of, of Richmond's region, and it has a, you know, a, a wide appeal to many different territories. Now, having said that, Let's talk a little bit about the history of the mall. So recently, as recently as January 2017, the mall was sold to the Kohan uh, Re Retail Investment Group. And those guys are kind of like Moonbeam Part 2. So I do not have very high hopes for this mall. I hope that I'm wrong. But my experience here is that this place is kind of like heading down a Cincinnati Mills kind of path. Um, it was very empty in this mall. It was very dead. Uh, one of the wings, as you're going to see in the mall, is pretty much completely abandoned. And it's kind of ironic because this mall actually kind of is getting, you know, I don't want it to have this, but this mall is kind of getting a kind of sweet revenge sort of in, in a weird way because when this mall opened, it took away a lot of traffic from three other area malls. There was the Azalea Mall, uh, Fairfield Commons, which was formerly known as the Eastgate Mall, and uh, a mall called Willow Lawn. So this property ended up sucking the life uh, out of those other three malls because um, of the proximity and you know other factors and those malls were sub subsequently either changed to a non-retail based establishment or in the case of the Azalea Mall was, was demolished. Um, and now here you have everything coming kind of full circle and this mall is really uh, is really dead. Now it's dead, but there was also activity in here. This is a very large property, and it's funny because, uh, as you're going to see later here, there's going to be an old-school clip of the arcade from 2007, and the girl in the clip that I use mentions how, how crazy the security is uh, in this property. Uh, my good buddy Jack Thomas from deadmalls.com, uh, when he was in here filming, had some trouble with security. There was three or four security guards that were kind of watching him like a hawk, and you know they're just they're just known for b being very persistent um, in, uh, in people photographing and that kind of thing. But I didn't have any problems. Uh, fortunately, I noticed while I was there, uh, one of the gentlemen was on the roof helping the maintenance guy, so it was kind of like good timing. 
but as I was winding down, unfortunately, nearing the end of my footage, uh, I did I did note I did notice more uh, security guards uh, at the end of my uh, trip there. So uh, this place was really cool to see. Um, it does not have a ton of aesthetic, but so in closing here, this was a pretty good place to see. Um, I'm glad that I've seen all these malls in North Carolina and Virginia. There is much more content coming to Aces Adventures very soon. I'm trying to be very aggressive and pump out as much content as I possibly can. Uh, please follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Aces Adventures 1. That's where I post a lot of exclusive pictures. Make sure if you are a subscriber, you have the notification bell linked uh, so that you know when I upload new videos. If not, and you are not subscribed, please subscribe and spread the word on the dead mall goodness. I, if you like my work and want to see more work, the best way to support me uh, is on patreon.com slash aces adventures. 100% of the money does go back into mall ventures. So thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the tour of the Virginia Center <laughs> Commons Mall and keep an eye out for more content coming next week right here at Aces Adventures. Thank you.